now. Hey, fellas, 30 seconds, man. 30 seconds, man. 30 seconds, man, and then it stop. 30 seconds and then it stop. Because you got it in you. You have it in you. You have it in you. Yes, you have it in you. And soon it's coming to take everything you know. Yeah. When that monster crawls out of the sea, you're gonna need somebody like me. When your brother's got blood in the streets, you better call. Somebody like me Cause you want somebody like me When the lines get a little blurry Gonna need somebody like me Kid from Philly was tough Just growing up there is just hard So every time we play a game and just living life and just natural chip on your shoulder. So I just feel like every time I play basketball, I just feel like nobody's better than me and I have something to prove. But it wasn't the clutch three-pointers or acrobatic layups that motivated him. Any play that I have that's bad, I go over it a million times in my head. I watch film on myself all the time. Sometimes it's hard to watch because you know, like you're watching yourself and you're like, why did I do that? I'll be like, at a party or something and like I'm thinking about basketball like think about a shot that I missed my mom gets annoyed with it she's like yo can you stop thinking about basketball for once in your life speaking of family don't think Fats has been looking to them for reassurances over the last four years when I call my family after a bad game and they're talking to me it's not like you're going to do better and stuff like that like no they're yo you did this this that wrong and you got to get better in this aspect. That support telling me what I have to hear instead of what I want to hear. And it was that truth that helped pave the way for the iconic moment in the 2018 NCAA tournament with current NBA MVP candidate, Trey Young. He was able to strip the young man and then he pulled up from three and knocked down another loud three-pointer. Just uh, tells you a lot about his makeup as a person, as a player, and as a competitor. And looking back on his time at URI, Fats is appreciative. I love you guys and just thank you. I'm having fun putting on this Rhode Island jersey for the last couple of times. Just thank you for letting me be a part of this community. Dale, mamita, no. 